Nick. Again, you don't have to use all of them. Just one All right, other. Rebecca, wonderful job as Thank always. You. Uh, when are you, you coming back later? One o'clock. She'll be back at one o'clock. More clearance stuff. Yeah, lots that's of great so, stuff such on a fun sale. Day. All right, this is also a customer pick, by the way. Less than $20 to pick it up. Hey, I want to remind everybody our today's special is coming up a little bit later. Uh, at the top of not next hour, but the hour after that, um, I'll be doing a full presentation of the today's special. You want to make sure you check that out. That's going to be a good time. Uh, you talk about great storage opportunities for you there. Um, and I don't care what it is that you need to store uh, you can uh, you can put these things anywhere you can store stuff in your car you can put it in a closet you can put it on that top shelf of your closet we're gonna give you two we have choice of colors more colors than we've ever had before uh, in this kit or in this setup so grab it it's only $59.95 flat rate five dollar shipping um, we even have the prints we've never had those before and they are stackable too so if you are putting these into kids rooms or whatever we're gonna show you a full presentation coming up a little bit later so grab it. It's a customer pick as well. All right, we're we moving into our second hour of clearance. And uh, my very good friend, John Florell, is here. Hello. I love kitchen clearance because there's so many tools that, that we love right. that maybe we were like, well, do I need it that bad for that <laughs> price? And then we drop the price like this one to $14.95. This is a four piece. It's basically you get two of these knives. Yep. One is a serrated, one is a straight edge. Uh, four piece, what we call rocking knives. John, yes. these are brilliant. Yeah, I know. And see, most people have a hard time using a, a regular kitchen knife right. because the handle is on the end of the knife, okay? Yeah. And if you've got maybe not the best knife skills, you'll, you already know whether you're going this way or this way or this way or this way or, you know, I mean, it, there's so many different... You ha if you have a hard time controlling a regular kitchen knife, or if, you have, if you've never seen a rocking knife before, look at this. All you do is move it and it cuts it. Now you can rock it, you can use it for chopping, you can use it for just about everything in the kitchen, but what's great about this is most of the time when you're using this blade, it's always in contact with the cutting board. Unless you're using it as a chopping knife uh, for chopping ends off of uh, the uh, vegetables or fruit. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll do this again real quick just to show you. All you do is touch it, and, and I'm just gonna drop this right down here on the root. We'll chop the end off, okay? It cuts right through cleanly right down to the cutting board, but then you rock it back and forth like this, and it's in constant contact with the cutting board, so all you're doing is moving it back and forth, and you can see with the handle, above the blade, you're in complete control. So you can make huge amounts of, of you know, salads, you can do whatever you like oh, yeah, with it. yeah, look at that. In fact, here, here, we're gonna spread this out. We're gonna make a couple of salads here real quick. But it doesn't matter what type of fruit or vegetable that you wanna cut with the knives, they're razor sharp and they stay sharp. Watch this, all you do is touch it and it cuts it. <laughs> Did you miss that? Here, yeah, we'll do this again. Yeah, they are super, super sharp. So all you do is roll it back and forth and it cuts more and more. Again with that razor sharp blade and the handle directly above the blade, you're in complete control. So now you don't have to worry so much about fingers, nails, knuckles, because you're, that blade or the handle is above the blade. See again, most kitchen knives are like this with the handle on the end. So right. you have this way to control, that way to control. And with this blade too, again, if you have dexterity problems, okay, maybe for mincing and chopping, things sure. like, maybe you want to do a whole bunch of, of garlic, garlic yeah. like this, okay, or herbs, all you do is roll it back and forth. And this is, the blade does the work for you. It's like effortless chopping, effortless, effortless mincing, because you're in control of the blade. And it's a different concept. Most people, you know, are used to those, the knives with a handle on the end. But if you've never, you may have seen these, uh, you know, in Alaska, they have a lot of knives yeah, like yeah, this, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> for for, uh, the, for outdoorsmen, chopping, for doing the skinning yeah. and chopping so and, and doing all that well, stuff. Well, your fingers but never you get see, near the blade, which is nice, That's job, right. right, and it's a razor-sharp blade. It's a carbon steel blade that's uh, that's got this ceramic coating. So, again, they stay razor-sharp. And, again, look at this. I mean, we just minced up that garlic in no time to go right in the frying pan. I mean, and we're going to put this out here on the salad, okay? Yeah, we're going to add the little garlic on the salad. We'll put the tomatoes out here. And again, with all the different things that you can use this knife for, you get the set of two, by the way. This blade, this is the straight blade, and we also have 
I call it the ripple blade, all right? And I gotta show you this one, guy, because when you're doing chopping or slicing, okay, you like that ripple cut. If you're do When you're doing your vegetables or maybe you want pan fries or home fries, can you see the difference? You can see the ripples in the slices. You're gonna love this for your vegetables. Like, well, for example, for, for doing things like cucumbers for salads, or if you're into pickling, you can do this quick, safe, fast, and easy. Again, the handle is above the blade, so you're in complete control. But you can see what you're doing here. You're putting those ripples on the slices so if for yeah, vegetable man. trays well, you, you now got, they hold more dip here's your big <laughs> right? potato chips right I, there I, I so know. these these are ready to go right in the dehydrator if you want to make them uh fresh or you can put them right in your oven and dehydrate them like that uh they're perfect for that there are certain veggies and and, and things and we're going to show you that in a sec too like herbs this is so great with herbs it's it's ideal with celery uh if you have to do i know you got some celery here and scallions yep. too i love those demos but honestly this is all you do you're back and forth yeah so you're you're First of all, you're doing the job in half the time. That's right. Because uh, you're cutting on the on, on back and forth. But it also, you're getting these fancy little veggies like they have in the store. Because, you know, you buy these right. little carrots right. cut like that. And they're right. expensive. Now you can do it yourself. You are. We only have 1,500 of these. These are going to sell out very, very quickly if you want to get them. Um, the price today is only $14.95 for two knives. That's a, that's a giveaway, um, and you're going to love that. You get one of the serrated. You get one of the straight edge. By the way, these are, if it is a word, sharpenable. Uh, you can run these both through a sharpener, and they will sharpen up. No problem. No issue there. And you will use them for a variety of things. Uh, uh, let me show you the colors, too. Over here, I've got them in green. I have a two-pack in the black. They also come in red. Uh, you get two of each one. And I'm Honestly, it's just a matter of whether you like to, a little more style in your veggies, if you like a little crinkle in them. You know, if you're making them fun for the kids, it's ideal. Here's an, a thing I also love. Small vegetables are yes. really hard to cut. They, uh, you know, they, you really got to kind of got to be careful. Right. I like with your mushroom, you fold it over at the, at the minute there. But if you wanted to chop these up even finer, can you do like oh, a yeah. fine dice? Oh, yeah, if you want to dice them, because, all you do is you know, roll if back and forth. You know, for making them for an omelet or something. Absolutely. Or a little duck cell, as they yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, again, for mincing, you're going to love it because all you do is roll it. It's, you rock it back back and forth and it cuts more and more. So all, again, with these knives, one, you know, the, the one blade has the straight blade, okay? This will do your straight slicing. This one does your rippled cuts. And again, whether you're slicing, dicing, chopping, mincing, it just saves you a ton of time. In fact, where you're really gonna love this too, guy, yeah. is when you're doing things like cheese, you know those things that you have a hard time slicing with a regular knife? Yeah. Now you're in complete control because that blade is in constant contact Mm -hmm. with the cutting board. So all you do is roll it back and forth yeah. and you get perfect slices. You, you, got, you, you even slice got the serrated one, which, which would probably thin. be aerated. That oh, might yeah. even work better. Well, yeah, you can slice them Look aerated that. like this. Oh, again. I like that, man. <laughs> I like I how it looks. See, kids love when you put little marks on things. <laughs> Look at that. It's like right out of the store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 1,400 remaining. Hey, do <laughs> celery for me. I love watching when yeah. you do celery. Do you and, mind? Yeah, no, not at Because this is the easiest thing you will ever see. And you can do one stock at a time or you can do the whole bunch like this if you okay. want to save time slice celery for your soup stews for oh stuffing gosh, yeah, for stir really? fries and again i mean we just did a mound of celery there in, in just seconds wow with with the uh, rocking knife and again because it rocks back and forth you're in complete control so if you're doing things like you know everybody has a hard time with cheese okay because cheese will normally stick to a blade well because of the ceramic coating on this look at this that cheese just rolls right off of there it, it, you, it's like if you've ever cut with a regular straight knife like this right. with, a, a met, with the metal on it, the cheese sticks to the knife and it's hard to control because, you know, not the main reason knives go dull is because they're hitting your countertops and cutting boards and plates and dishes. Because you're, because you're rocking this back and forth, you're always in complete control. Yeah. And again, because of that ceramic coating, nothing sticks to that blade, so everything comes right off. And I mean, you can make it, making caprese real quick and easy. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the one you're going to love. I also uh, like the fact that, um, as we said, you know, you don't really need any knife skills to right. use this. When you use a regular knife, there's a whole uh, there's a whole uh, semester spent on knife skills <laughs> when you go to culinary well, school. That's just With it. this, you know, all you need to do is take your time and you just rock it yep. like a seesaw. That's all you need to do, and you just go back and forth. I also find, John, people that have issues with their hands yes. like this tool because the grip on it is very comfortable for them. And it's uh, right above the 
blade. It's a familiar so, grip because your, yeah. your hand is some completely around. It's above the blade, so you can use pressure that you need or not, or the lack of pressure, right. uh, depending on what you're cutting. But it really does make the job very, very easily. So today is a clearance day. Uh, this is a uh, almost a perfectly rated customer pick, almost all five stars across the board. I think people just are like, you know what, it's easy. If you need to do things like parsley, uh, herbs, uh, you know, basil, dill, stuff like that, yep. this is ideal because you just, you can knock that off fast. And that's hard to do with a knife. Something like an onion like that. I mean, yeah. you can see John. Now, if he wanted to dice easy. it finer, yeah, he yo, just goes over and over. And then just look, rock back and, and forth. And he never, look at, look at how easy that is. I mean, come on. And that's the whole key to this. Is yeah. Because that blade is always in contact with the cutting board, you're in complete control. You can do your mincing, your dicing, yeah. your chopping right on your cutting board. And again, and so, you know, instead of dragging out a heavy food processor that takes a ton of time, there's your chopped up onion done in seconds for soup, stews, or for salads. Here, you mentioned earlier garlic, herbs, things like that. Yeah. I mean, even just for things like scallions or uh, green onions like this, if you want to add this to a salad for soups or stews, all you do is rock it back and forth. And if you, you know, you can go slow, you can go fast, the faster you go, or you, you're in complete control. So you can get as precise as you like when that blade is always in contact with the cutting board. I mean, look at me. Look at that. We just made a mound. <laughs> I'm almost out of, of room food. out I here. I hope everybody <laughs> wants salad because John is making a lot of salad today. Uh, this is an easy prep tool. By the way, both of those knives do come with little uh, little covers on them. Yes. Protective covers. So when you keep it in the drawer. Uh, and by the way, you know, they say you know, all this stuff is, they say you can put it in a dishwasher. I yeah. don't. Uh, most, I, I mean, I'll give you a tip for knives. I never like to put a knife in the dishwasher no. anyway, just because if you're reaching there with your hands someday well, or your kids decide to empty the dishwasher. There's that. There's yeah. that. Plus, and, and they don't need it. It takes two seconds. Well, you don't, I don't put knives in the dishwasher because, mainly because in the dishwasher, things get banged around and you end up nicking the blades, okay? Right. Yeah. With this blade, I want you to see the difference here. Look how thin that blade is, okay? And that's why it stays razor sharp, all right? The handle is what does all, yeah, th this is where the control comes from, is on that handle. So if you want to do that very, you know, d detailed slicing, you can go, as, you can get as precise as you like. If you want to go super fast, you can go as, as fast as you like too because you're always in complete control with that handle above the blade. All right. Uh, Fourteen dollars and ninety-five cents. Can't go any lower than that. This was twenty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. We dropped the price by ten dollars. So get it home. Read the reviews. Customer pick on HSN.com. It's just easy for you to use. If you're uh, having issue, issues with your hands or whatsoever, you don't feel comfortable using a knife. This is a great. And I know a ton of people that say I just am not really comfortable using a knife. Right. And and you know because most people don't get the opportunity to go to a, to go to school and learn or well, learn from chefs like, chef, like you yeah, know we they have spend but years in culinary you, school. You right? really do and. It, trying to learn how to control a knife. It takes a long time, but they do it every single day. You probably only use a knife once in a while, so maybe that's you know one of the reasons you don't get really good at it. I love that this will texture your fruits and veggies, also makes them a little more interesting for you and for the kids, uh, for things like squash and stuff right. like that. You see how easily it goes through that as well. All right, we are wrapping it up. $14.95. It's on clearance. I know you're coming back a little bit later with me. Yes. You've got the, what do you have? Do you have the PLA? Yes, the we chopper. do. Yeah, the chopper. Oh, my gosh. That, yeah, that's the... another great tool that John has. Hey, also very limited. If you do want traditional knives, we have them for you. Uh, these are from Kitchen Master, and this is a huge set. This is a 12-piece rib knife set. Uh, they come with the little sheaths. It's actually, a, uh, is this the one that's it's a six-piece, but it comes with the tops. I don't like to call it a 12-piece because... <laughs> You're not getting 12 knives. You're getting, you get six knives, but you get the little covers on them. And there's a list of the knives that you get. Everything uh, from your big chef's knife down to your paring knife. So that's coming up a little later. John, we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you, sir. Uh, but if you want to order those, you go right ahead and order those rib knives. Those are 50% off uh, down to $17.50. And we want to remind you, we have kitchen clearance available also on hsn.com. So if you're shopping and you want to look and you see some of your favorites, now you can see some of your favorites at a fraction of the price. So take advantage of that and uh, check out all the great deals that we have. How about that home storage canister set? You need to store stuff. Everybody needs to store stuff. Well, we got a way to be able to do that. We have the 13 or the 16 piece available for you, and you're going to absolutely love that. All right. I am excited about, uh, really, really excited about our next item. 
because to me, if you love to cook, you love cooking on a griddle. And I worked in restaurants for many, many years, so I have had the pleasure. I was a short order cook at a, at a uh, country club for a long time, and I did the grill. Yeah. That's, I did the griddle. That this doesn't is what surprise me. Everything was there. And we only had a, a flat top grill, so we did, we did our burgers, we did everything on it, and I absolutely loved it. Well, Look Kelly's at here. Kelly Gadring is here. <laughs> Good morning. Look at the workspace you have here. In fact, I love this it. is an 18 by 14 over the oversized uh, cook service for family sized meals. It's easy to clean, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite breakfast tool ever is this griddle. Look uh, at this. So if you ever go Eggs. to the diner, you know where you go to the diner yeah. and they're cooking on the big cowboy grill griddle and you're like, oh man, it, 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 everything just tastes so good. Yummy. Because they have that huge, massive open workspace. I have never seen a grill griddle that is this type of, you know, size. Yeah. It's nonstick, by the way, it's dash. Um, so you can, everybody can eat all at the same time, which I love because I'm so sick and tired of you getting to eat, somebody right. else getting to eat. Everybody's eating because it's hot, but then by the time the chef gets to eat, you're eating alone, right? Yeah. Because you have like a little nine inch fry pan. This is $34.95 I mean, today. It's Do you crazy. believe it? This is, this is half price again. It was $70. Now it's down to $35 with only $5 shipping. You will add, look, it sticks to the spatula, <laughs> it but it won't to the stick spatula, to the, but it doesn't stick stick to the, to the grill. grill. And by the way, all you do, like in a traditional grill, you'd scrape it down, down to the and front. you're good to go. Yep. Look, you've got your bacon cooked there. Well, you oh also have the little drip tray down front right here. Yeah, so, so all your drippings, your oil and everything, it's not going to sit and soak up all the oil. Yum. You press it right down to the front. It drips into the tray. So all you have at the end is to wipe it clean and get rid of that drip tray. Uh, you know, pour it out, save the fat, whatever you want to do with it. But mm. I've never seen a griddle this size. In my no. opinion, and I'm going to shop a lot today. Right. I'm a big clearance shopper. This is probably probably one of the best buys of the day. Because, I mean, to, to get a griddle dollars. this size, you're talking $70, $80. Oh, my God. And I've never even seen them this size. No. I mean, you are going to absolutely love being able to do dozens of pancakes. Oh you, if you wanted to load this up with bacon, now, at the end of no, the day, you, you could don't... Do, you could do two pounds of bacon on there easy. Oh, easily. Yeah. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. And then I'm going to wipe it clean because I do want to show you. This is Dash. So everything is our True Glide nonstick. It's all proprietary technology. But all you have to do, if you have any kind of natural oils or juices that are sticking to it or maybe you'd put a sauce on it that's sticking a little bit all you have to do is literally if there's excess you can see I'm sort of pressing that down to the front there and all I have to do is wipe it clean and it looks as if it just came out of the box it's that nonstick. It's that easy to clean. Look at that. And, and then and all we do, I just put, put it on put, high because I know you're going to be doing some stir fry. Thank Let's you, go sir. over to our steaks. And you look at how beautiful our steaks are here, okay? And they're, I mean, they're cooked perfectly and they're browned evenly. Look at this on both sides. Look at how perfect they are. And this gives you an idea of the even heat distribution of this grill. I notice that every steak is identical in how it's browned, right? That's because that element goes through the entire bottom of this. Easy to clean, wipe it down. If there's any fat or grease, it, it goes out the backside. We have an adjustable thermostat, so yep. you know if you're doing steaks and things like that, you, you obviously that exact precise you want it really high. Control. Yes. Look at that. I mean, so how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steaks, my friends. But this yeah. could be a dozen or 15 burgers. This could be all your bacon. You could be doing sort of barbecued chicken. or You can even put this into the keep warm position to keep your food warm oh, yeah. throughout your party, throughout, you know... <laughs> Look at you throwing the steaks. Oh, but hey, look at how he's just wiping that clean. And show the cloth. I mean, oh. everything just comes right off as you wipe it clean. Look it's that, that nonstick. And you're ready to go again. You're ready to start frying. I'm going to keep this up on high because we can do other stuff here. We can't. I'm going to do a little stir fry. Yeah, I, this is a little, um, a little. Uh, um, what is this? Sesame oil, excuse me. Because Yummy. Sesame oil for, for flavor is yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. with your stir fries. Yeah. Now, you don't need an oil. Okay, so we're just doing this one for flavor. We want some but flavor there. Yeah, we want some flavor. So let's pop our shrimp on there. You can actually hear them sizzling, you guys. And then all of our vegetables. So this is the best way to do a stir fry because now you don't have to get out all the different pots, all the different pans. You can do everything all together all at once and then everybody eats all together and everybody right. eats all at once. And we just turned once. this up. We had it, we had actually turned it off because we don't want to burn our pancakes. Yeah, but you but can hear it. I mean, you'll watch. It'll yeah. start to sizzle up. It only takes about a minute or so. And, and then let's you got pop your rice. our rice Look on there you. for a little fried rice, you guys. Yeah. Best way to do your stir fries, best way to do your breakfast, your omelets, your pancakes, um, you know, 
whatever it is that you want to do in the morning, you yeah. can use this for uh, for lunch, great that, lunches. Let yeah, let's sting. let it go. Okay. All right, so we got our steaks, my yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then we got a little Hawaiian chicken breast. <laughs> Look at you. I never have to work when Guy's here because he'll do I'll, it all. I'll help you but out. But do you see that beautiful browning that we get? That ceiling in of all the juices, oh, all yeah. the moisture that you look get. Look at our beautiful grilled pineapple. I mean, look at the so pineapple. Nice. Isn't that gorgeous? So oh my God. Maybe it's a day where you don't necessarily want to go outdoors. It's hot. It's raining. It's cold. Whatever the reason is for not wanting to go outdoors, you don't always have to go outdoors to grill. Now you have an indoor grill griddle oh, that yeah. can serve an army. Here, we'll put these, you know what we'll do? We'll put them in towards the middle. And then well, we'll let's put, put our pineapple on, on top one. as well. And, and guys, uh, just so you know, there's, there's pretty much no fat in this dish. We didn't have to put any on here. You don't have to add any fat or oil. You can add a little bit of that later. And look at how nice and look Kelly at how did that. Beautiful, and you she's going to scallion it up. And oh, you just made a, a perfect pretty. meal. And that's and, one, two, three, four, six full-size chicken breasts. We probably could have yeah. fit eight and, or ten on there. And Kelly, how many pans do I have to clean up? One at the end. All you Kelly. have to do is take a wet rag oh, and wipe. Kelly. Actually, no pans. Look at right. That's yeah. zero pans. There's my one clean. wipe clean. I'm going to tilt it so you can see that. Isn't that crazy? That's what I just cooked all that chicken on. Do you see how clean that cooking surface is? All right, 170 people have already picked this up. I'm telling you, even if you use this thing just once a month oh. uh, for big family get-togethers yep. or whatever, you'll love it. But boy, if you are a breakfast cook, I gotta tell you, moms and dads awesome out there, if breakfast. you make scrambled yep. eggs and stuff, and, and I don't know if we have any scrambled eggs, but if, if you make scrambled eggs and stuff like that for the kids, oh, it's, perfect. Um, it's ideal because you have a huge cooking surface here, yep. uh, and you can do a lot of food at the same time. That's what makes it so ideal. You're gonna love it. All right. All right. Uh, let me tell everybody this is, this was $69. Yeah. They took $25 off. It is $34.95. It's only $11 and change. And on it's Flex 16 Bay. by 18. Is that what you said? If you're wondering Four, the size, uh, it's a 14 by 18. 14 excuse by me. 18. 14 yeah. by 18. This is Dash. It's all True Glide nonstick. So it's very, very easy to clean up. 18 and a half, it looks like, by 14 and three quarters. So almost by 15. You're talking countertop cooking like the cowboy griddle. When you go to those old fashioned cafes, those restaurants, think about your paninis. 15, uh, 100 watts of power, which is great. You get the yeah. high, medium, low, and warm. And then the detachable probe. So if you wanted to pick this up and take this with you uh, yeah. somewhere, you and even if you burn could. one like, like I did, don't that's worry okay. about it. We don't blame it. you. That's all right. You that's know not burnt. I would eat that. Now that's huh? not burnt. That's perfect. Oh, that that's a little, a little bit burnt. on the burnt side, but that's, I don't mind. I don't mind them crunchy like that. It doesn't bother me at all. But Look that's just because we, we left these on. But, but even if you burn. Yeah, I don't but know. But think about, about this as well. So what was that? Eight grilled cheese sandwiches and our entire pot of tomato soup. You can actually set pots on top of here as well. So maybe you want to do a little fondue, a little melty cheese. I mean, is that not, th with a pickle? Oh my gosh, with like a, a pickle spear? A dill did. pickle spear? Yeah. Is that gorgeous? I bet, I bet everybody in the control room wish they had that. I bet they do. Well, oh, Kyle's guys. probably looking. I think I might, I that might be my breakfast. A little tomato soup with your, but look at how you're able to even put any sort of pot, a casserole dish, anything that would go in the oven, you can keep warm on here as well. So whether it's a big old thing of nachos and some dip on the side, or you have all your meatballs and you want to put the red sauce and keep the red sauce warming, you have the capacity. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with that. Is that amazing? I just dunked the grilled cheese and in the a, tomato. I know. Well, there's but, nothing you know, wrong with that. Nobody's of, saying there's anything wrong with that. We look do this that. in restaurants. We take we put it right yep. on we put it on the put flat it top. Right on the flat top. Because it's a big burner. Yep. Holy mackerel. Is that not good? So any yeah. you know, anything that would go on your traditional stovetop, now you have that 14 by 18 cooking surface with that dash true glide nonstick. We've got a couple of, of spots here of the of the actual mm. burnt cheese. Mm -hmm. Let's just show you. All you have to do at the end is take mm. a, a, a wet rag and wipe it clean. You could even push it down forward. So if you're just joining us, you even have the little crumb tray or you know the oil tray, the fat tray, whatever you want to call it, and it just pulls right out. So all you have to do is just remove that and then pop it back in. It's very easy to use. You have all the settings in that removable probe. So if you wanted to keep it on warm yeah. or you're just keeping your food warm throughout your party, throughout your gathering, you can do that as well. But you can also go all the way up to high and get that beautiful look sear at, and that beautiful look sizzle. Look how nice these sausages. I, I just turned these over, but let me turn these ones for you because you can see we just flipped them. Look at how nice. <coughs> I'm getting a little smoke in my mouth. Look at how nice the browning is here. Isn't that beautiful? On these and I'll turn them for you and you'll be able to see we'll get that overhead shot in a sec and look at how perfectly they're all cooked right and you see I, what i love is that you know a lot of these um girls like this they you only get a you get a, an element in the middle 
So only stuff in the middle cooks. And then you put the cooler stuff on the outside. This entire surface is hot. That's what you want because you want everything to cook equally. I don't I don't want to have to move my food all over the place. Oh, sausage like, and peppers. These peppers are perfectly cooked. With a little provolone. I mean, oh can gosh, you imagine really? doing this? And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and several peppers that you're getting as well. So you have the capacity now to cook for, you know, all your friends and family. Oh, yeah. But if you don't want <laughs> that bun <laughs> is a little sad. Look at our up. sausages we way to, bigger we don't than have our bun. Serve them all up. Did you get an idea yeah. of what you can do here? Uh, and by the way, uh, you know, just like with any uh, fry pan, saute pan, yep. you can cook pretty much anything. You can yep. do the stir fries. You can do, uh, you can do like even fry. Hey, listen, you do flat top fried chicken. I've done that before. Yeah. A little bit of oil, yes. and you can bread your chicken. It's yep. actually a nice way to do it. Or like Brussels sprouts, if you want to do like yeah, a little yeah, pan yeah. fry, or even like fried green tomatoes, fried pickles. All that Anything stuff. that's that flat, you don't now have to get out a big old deep fryer no, 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 to do it. it. You easy. can absolutely do it right on your countertop. And by the way, it's very thin, so if you want to store it upright you could absolutely slide it in almost like a tray type sure. of style if you have the tray cabinets it'll fit right inside there as well so dash does a nice job because guy you don't actually have to put oil down here if you don't want to in terms of using you know for non-stick right it's these are all natural oils and natural juices so you don't have to add calories now well, sausage I always, has fat there's yeah, no reason to I put always fat like to there. add a little sesame oil or something for flavor sure. but you are not required to just look at how it wipes clean you guys it's like it's brand new it just That's came out of the box and it's all right here on my rag and look at how clean and that is. And this will season after you use it over and oh, over and absolutely. over. It gets better and better and better as you use it. Isn't that nice? Um, but it does make life nice and simple. And then, and then again, cleanup is just wipe it down. Mm -hmm. um, you can remove this and, and wash that down, put it back on, and just wipe the machine and down. That's all you need to do. look at for like your yeah, flat bread. Yeah, browning. Or even like um, warming your pizza, you guys, you, so it's not all soggy. It's all crispy and crunchy and beautiful. So if you wanted to do this is uh, five flatbreads, five full-size flatbreads, it's totally up to you. The sky is the limit. Um, you could do your garlic bread on here. Mm. Uh, what are you tossing around over there, my friend? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm not eating anything. He's double dipping. And a, like, how about a little balsamic right here? Man, so a little, look at you. A little caprese a little flatbread. Or here. how? about a little, a little pesto. pesto you guys yeah. so that you do whatever you want you know I mean this is just one of those tools that makes life easier in the kitchen and you have now the space you have now the capacity and then you still get that beautiful crunch on your flatbread and yeah. it, it really just does a very nice job makes life so much easier and Isn't then you can just up, wipe man. it clean I mean that that's yeah. ridiculous that nice? stuff let me say again uh, what we're doing today. So it's $25 off. The shipping's only five bucks. It's $11.65. Come on, follow us over. I you just wanted to open up dunk. one of these. I'm gonna go no, over I here. No, I was gonna open one up. Go ahead, you do what you want. I'm I gonna mean, go, yeah, show that. Look at this grilled cheese, you guys. Yeah, Imagine nice. that were a Reuben. Or, I mean, look at how ooey, how gooey, how cheesy. Boing. Boing. <laughs> Can you, I mean, I'm gonna eat, that's my, <laughs> that's a good breakfast actually right there. But you now me? you're able to do that's that. If, even if you're just doing two grilled cheeses, one for you, one for the grandchild, you can get this out and go ahead and do it on there because right. you have the, uh, the I'm gonna go, to. I'm gonna go over here and work and on your stir, stir fry. fry yeah, friend. we got our stir fry going here. And this is, this is the point at which you would mix everything together. Mm -hmm. If you got one of them big spatulas, that's great too. Um, Kelly will add whatever seasoning we want to add to this. We'll add a little soy sauce. Yeah, go ahead. And again, this is a nice big meal. And look at, I mean, look at the caramelization and the, and the, like the browning on the shrimp and the, I mean, it does a very good job. So rather than getting out the tiny little nine or 10 inch fry pan yeah. and only being able to serve a handful of people, really, you could serve, you know, 15 people if you wanted to. i here. It makes my life a little bit easier. All right. You want to just pour it on in there too, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Maybe I'll just scoop it. Good. Yeah. I'll scoop. Boop. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, man? it's really nice. And uh, and you're going to love this. And it's, you know, and if you think you can't do this at home, you're crazy. You can. It's, <laughs> it's very so simple. easy. Yeah. All you have to do is get the fresh veggies. You know what? Sometimes I'll cheat and I'll just buy them already pre chopped. So all you have to do is get a little bit of that oil, your shrimp from the seafood counter, or if you want to do a little protein like chicken or something like that, yeah, you can do you that want. on there as well. Let's add some more. Want to, want to? Whatever you want to do. But I'll show you. You can clean. You can, yeah. So then you can just add more if you wanted to do a vegetarian stir fry after that. Uh, and you can as or well. Or have it an egg and do some fried rice. Yeah, you can do. And, and not only that, it's fun. This is fun cooking. I mean, you're doing family style stuff oh, here. Wow. Add a little bit of oil. There you go. It's perfect. That's all you need to do. And then you're just, you're a hibachi chef, man.
That's what you are. This is actually just like. Well, have you been to the hibachi big. places where you go and, yeah, and you, you fill up your bowl with the raw veggies and the raw protein, right? And you mm -hmm. stand in line and you go to the end of the line and they have Good the hibachi stuff. style grill yeah. and they're grilling it for you. And you're paying extra basically to prepare your own food. You know what exactly. I mean? I know. You're paying extra to choose it all yourself and you, you go up there with your little bowl. Now you can actually do it at home. So prepare and have those sort of events with your friends and family. Everybody can get their bowl. Everybody can get their veg. Everybody can go oh, yeah. right down to the cowboy griddle at the end and cook their own food. So that's yeah. a nice way to do it too. And I'll, uh, I'll cut up some steaks so you can see. We cooked these steaks earlier and we let them rest a little bit. I'll get that spinach out of there. So you're wondering, um, you know, does this, how does this cook? Well, I will show you how it cooks. It cooks absolutely perfectly. And this is, this is just done on our little flat top griddle and you'll see how perfect that steak is. Medium rare. Remember, let your steaks kind of sit for a little bit afterwards. You gotta let them rest so all that good juice can go back inside. But look, this is a perfectly cooked steak. Not gorgeous. Very ideal. And we did. But it's one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. We did full a whole steaks. bunch of them. <laughs> all right, good job, Kelly. All right, this is $34.95. Right, Kelly is coming back a little bit later. Three I think around this afternoon. Yep, three o'clock. Thank you, Kelly. All right, my friend. All right, so continue to grab this. Also available if you want to pick it up because this is all clearance, man. Everything is, everything is on sale today. It's a good time to be shopping. We've got sort of like a little uh, completer set. This is a utensil set that you can get to go along with it. Um, and man, what a deal on that. It's only $9.95. This is the Elite Bistro four-piece nonstick uh, uh, um, utensil set. Got everything you need. You're going to love that. And that's less than $10. So take advantage of that as well. All right. We're going to continue to move on here. Is that Carrie Maletto I see over there off yonder? Okay, before we get to see Carrie, we have to talk about Wolfgang. All right, there's Wolfgang. And of course, Wolfgang's got great stuff that's for sale too here as we continue. Uh, and you can check out all his good stuff on Wolfgang. Uh, if, you, if you just click the Wolfgang icon at hsn.com, he's got lots of stuff on sale and lots of great stuff on FlexPay as well. All right, now you will get to see the lovely and talented Carrie Maletto, who has a brilliant idea for anybody that has leftovers mm -hmm. or storage issues. Um, you're gonna love these, uh, what they're, they're called uh, keeper caps. And yep. what these basically do is they, they take any regular bag and they make it like a, like a bottle. They, they, they basically yep. add a cap to the top so now you can pour off what you want. You got an airtight seal on it, so uh, for things like uh, coffee or cereals or, or spices or whatever it is, mm -hmm. it's going to keep the freshness in, and it and it gives them each a little lid, a little snap-on yeah. lid. What a great idea! So smart. You know, and the reason I think the name is perfect, it's called Keeper Caps because what it's going to do is it's going to keep the money in your pocket. Because when you think about it, our yeah. frozen foods, our foods that go in our pantries, we're fighting a lot of things. We're fighting staleness. We're fighting bugs. We're fighting keeping everything as fresh as when we bought it. And also, if you you don't have a keeper cap you may be going through some very interesting ways of trying to keep your food fresh but they may not be working a lot of us use clothes pins we use special clips we buy yeah. specifically to do it but what happens is it's not really getting it airtight let me show you how a keeper cap works so it's a two-piece you're gonna get eight different pieces right um, three different sizes so we'll go over that in just a moment but I want to show you how you use it there's an inner ring and an outer ring what we're gonna do is take the bag that the rice came in and rice for me is a big way that I use my keeper caps sure because you know we like to pour it out and measure it when we use it but all you do is push the pull the bag through and then place it over and then the top just simply slides right on so I want you to see what's happening here I just slide it on Look and you'll you. actually feel it kind of clip into clip place in, yeah okay and then you have now created a pour spout. So let's actually show how wonderful. So now, instead of fighting with the bag and trying to get this to pour nicely, look how perfect what? this is. And then when I'm done using it for that particular time, I just clip it closed like this, and I now have an airtight seal. That's how this is going to completely what? change your pantries, your fridges, um, and even your frozen foods. Let's all right, talk I gotta about get that. these now. You, now let me. You're telling me I get all these, so I get. Let's talk I about get yeah, eight of them. Show you. Yeah. Show so, everybody away because this is this was twenty nine ninety five. Yeah. Today. Okay. 14.95. So you're getting Come three on. large ones. These are great for like chips and maybe if you're using this for your soils or your bird food or anything like that. You have your small ones which are great for smaller snacks and things that you can um, like I use these like for your little uh, 
candies. Um, and then you have medium size. You're gonna get three medium, three large, and two small. So eight completely. You will find so many different ways to use these in your home. Yeah. You know, a big way for me that I was just talking about is frozen foods. Sure. Because frozen foods, here's what I do. Tell me if you do this. I buy the frozen foods, so say it's the peas. Yeah. And then after I've opened it, I take a plastic bag, those ones that seal, and then I place this bag in the plastic bag. So now I'm using two bags, the bag it came in plus right, another bag. Right, right, right. And then I end up throwing that bag away when I'm done. Instead, if you use a keeper cap, look what happens. You're keeping it in the bag it came in. Oh and again, that easy way to pour your foods. And for frozen foods, this is keeping it from getting the freezer burn, which for me has so ruined good. so many yeah. of my foods. Like it's expensive. Well, and you know what's really awful, especially with things like peas and carrots, stuff like that? If you don't seal the bag properly, do you ever see what happens in the bottom of your freezer? Yeah. Like all the stuff goes down to that. All into the little bits and there. the pieces. It's, and it's so <laughs> nasty. And then once your food gets freezer burned, it creates a smell and it's all through your freezer. Don't do that. And, and by the way, whether you put it in the fridge, freezer, uh, cabinets, a uh, uh, pantry, this is ideal for keeping things that go bad fresher, like coffee, right? We're coffee. always, and, and you know, I just discovered the other day because I was one of those people that put my beans in the fridge and like, don't put your beans in the fridge. You just need to keep Correct. them in something airtight. Correct. They don't like the refrigerator because there's oils in there. It that's blocks right. up. It gets gloopy, but whatever. And, it does, and they don't, they don't yeah. grind as well. Exactly. So now you've got a way to keep everything nice and fresh. And it just doesn't have to be the stuff we eat. It can be stuff like fertilizer, things like that, whatever. And we'll get to that. Here's another case where the sizes are great. Yeah. Because right? that's a bigger bag. Large makes it easy to put your hand inside. So if you, for your chips, you know, maybe this is pretzels. Um, I love using that, you know, for, um, where's another large one here? Pet food. Let's talk about that for a second. We like to keep our, we pay a lot of good money for our pet food, for our fertilizers, for all those Look at different all the things. all stuff you did so you don't have to use this just for the food that you're consuming. Our pet food is expensive, so being able to have it like this where you can pour it out easily for your okay. pets, here, over here, again, again, it's making it easy to pour. It's giving it a lid. It's giving it a top, a keeper cap. You're wondering, and then, is it strong? Does it hold? Yeah, look, yeah. This is about... This is about 10 pounds of fertilizer in here, and I'm holding it up here by the lid, and you can't, you can't, look, you, I mean, you really have to yank yeah, it to off really to yank get it. the That's thing heavy. off. That's heavy, that's heavy. I mean, that so is heavy duty. It really, once it clips on, gives you that nice, tight, airtight sure seal, locks. and that's really what it's all about. And when I want to talk about airtight, I can also show you, we've used this on a bag of water. Wow. So if I actually tip that over, it's keeping the water inside. So what I want you to know is that once you've placed these on, oh, you are yeah. keeping the air, which is the enemy of our food, air when it gets into it because right. that means bugs can get into it. That means staleness can get air makes food stale. You know what this would be perfect for? And I, because you know, my mind is always going weird and crazy. But but you know, I make I make sauce. I make tomato sauce, okay. right? And I don't I don't put I don't I like to freeze my sauce in bags. I don't freeze it in containers because it's easier to put in there. You know, if you have big containers in your freezer, you can't keep that much. Right. So I freeze right. all the, and, and stuff like beef stew. So this is nice because if you are storing it in the fridge or the freezer, you can actually pour it back out of a bag because That's normally correct. I have to cut the bag and I have to I squeeze it all out. That. It's a pain and, and, and if you want to portion it out, you can't do it. This is a way to be able to portion it out without losing anything. Yep. I have 900 left. With everybody online, there's 900 at half price. So if you want to get the keeper caps, and that they are better than any snappy little clippy chippy thingy you're Absolutely. ever going to buy. Here, your little, you can use your little waffles. You can, whole, you can get a whole eggy thing out I of there. I know, I know. And mine got, they're not frozen as much anymore. So now <laughs> they're a little soggy. Yeah, that's nice. But what's nice, again, something like this, what we end up doing is we end up putting them in another bag and or we realize if we don't get through them fast enough that the freezer burn happens. Another thing, there are a thing, there is a thing called pantry bugs. And if you've experienced that, you know how horrible that can be. So you're taking all of your stuff out of the bags that they came in and you're putting them into other bags. But here's the yeah. thing, something like rice, we need the instructions because different bags of rice cooked differently. So with this, you're able to keep your instructions on your back, all your nutrition information, you, and your in your expiration date. Will you do me a favor? Let me just uh, just clean this up here yeah. so everybody can see. Will you do that one over again? Yep. And show everybody, like, start from the top and tell everybody what we're doing, because this is such a fabulous idea. So you buy a bag of rice. You buy a bag of rice. You've cut into it. You've used a little bit. Now you say, okay, what am I going to do? You take your keeper cap. The inner ring comes <laughs> down over it. You just take the bag, and it literally goes over top of that ring. 
thing and then you just place the top part right on. You'll feel it click into place and then you now have a pourable lid. And so as you're using this, you can keep pushing it down if you want, but you are all set. This rice is gonna stay just as fresh as when you first bought it. It's gonna keep that air out. It's gonna keep that staleness out. Again, this is really awesome for coffee. And for me, it's been huge for my frozen foods. It really changes the game there because now you're not using another bag. Right. And you're not and having if you just need freezer. a cup of peas, yeah. you can grab yourself a cup of peas. And I always would rush through to try to hurry up and use my frozen foods because right. of the freezer burn that would instantly happen and not being able to keep it fresh. Now you don't have to and, worry. You're going to have that nice tight seal. And the twisty seal. ties always have, they, like there's a little it twisty tie fairy that goes in there <laughs> and untwists them. And then you've got peas and carrots and all kinds of weird stuff all over the place. Remember, it's not just for food that you eat. It could be for things like, uh, it could be soil that you have outside. How do you, how do you tie that bag up? I know what you do. You roll up the topping to turn it upside down and you think that's going to work. That's right. And then you pick it up in the stuff goes all uh, over the place. Yeah, and what's crawled in there because you didn't have it sealed. Yeah, exactly. You got to think full all kinds of bugs and stuff like that. Look at how simple this this is to utilize. So things like, what this do you got there? Some this kind of a seed. seed. You got flax some flax seed. in there? Yeah, so maybe you have different things. You do smoothies throughout the day. So you have your flax seed and you have your different oats and maybe this is, you know, maybe you make fresh oatmeal. Yeah. Um, these are things, again, that I would have to put into another container. Now you don't have to. Keep all of your instructions. Keep all of your nutrition information. So here's sure. our beans. This is perfect for beans. I I never use all like a full bag of beans at a time. I'm always no. using a little bit and they always end up going stale because I can never get that like, bag closed yeah, all the like way. Yeah, like flax seeds and things like that or coffee. You never use the whole bag of coffee, right? Exactly. You never do that. This makes it easy. Uh, Carrie, would you show everybody one more time yeah. again? Uh, the because the deal is, it's such a good deal what you it get really today. Is. You get everything you got before, but you get it at half price. And, and if I were you, I would buy two or three sets of these at this price. You know, this is great for the Because now holidays. there's 600 left, so they're going to go very quick. We have, uh, Kyle, did we put three minutes up there? We did. Oh, goodness. So Kyle just said three minutes or sell out. Go and ahead, this Carrie. is it. I mean, we, we're not bringing in any more. So, so we have three large that you're getting. You're getting two small, and you're getting three medium. So the large, again, that will fit your hand. You can actually put your hand inside. So that's great for, like, chips and pretzels and different things that you want to reach inside and then the small for me are really great for candies and just smaller items and like coffee and then the mediums are the ones I use I use medium and large a lot actually but what I was just saying because especially for the for the value that we're doing think about the holidays think about the fact that this is a great stocking stuffer sure. this is something great to bring to the office for an office gift reason this is something that people will use a ton so yeah this is something that somebody gets and they look at and they go, what the heck is that? What is that? And then they, put, on, they put it on one bag and they're like, How did this I ever live is this? really, really <laughs> smart. Let's say hi to Nancy. Where's Nancy from? Nancy from where? North Carolina. Hi, Nancy. Hi. I'm hi. from Charlotte, North Carolina. Love Charlotte. Uh, fantastic. Well, tell us, did you just buy these today? I bought three sets. Good All for right. you. Awesome. What do you well, think I'm about them, Nancy? <laughs> What's that? I bought three sets. One for my brother. Good. One for my sister. Yeah. And one for me. I'll awesome. tell you, Nancy, they're a lot easier than clipping the clips on bags. I'll tell you that much. Totally. <laughs> I've used all those old clips. I'm so glad to get this. <laughs> I know. You know, well, the clips don't do nothing but, but kind of close it off. They don't help you pour or anything like that. What's nice about the Keeper Caps is they keep everything fresh, and it makes it so easy to pour. Nancy, thank you, and I'm sure your family will thank you for buying those as well. We are down to one minute. And Kyle says there's 400 left, uh, so we uh, we, we, we're going really fast here, and you can see how many are going at a time. But Carrie, I think, you know, bottom line, saving money, not throwing your food away. Totally. Right? I mean, and I can't tell you how many times things like this is an orzo pasta. So I would open it, I would use a little bit, and then I'd have this pressure to put it in the refrigerator because I didn't want bugs to, to get in it. And I, I thought, oh, it'll keep it from going stale. But now I don't have to do that. I can keep it in my pantry. It creates a natural cap on it, and I'm good to go. So whether you use this for your frozen foods or you use this for your coffee or you use this for your pastas or you just yeah. take it right straight to your it garden. Is, it is. I'll tell you, it'll pay for itself very, very quickly. Absolutely. Probably the first time you throw away a bag of coffee because it got nasty. Exactly. Or if it saves you from having to clean your freezer out because nothing leaked out of the bags, this is the way to do it. All right, I got a few hundred left. That's all there is to it. Uh, take advantage of it. There's just a few seconds left. 700 already spoken for in five minutes, so they're going real quick. And by the way, they reduced the shipping down to yeah. three. Uh, if you're like Nancy, be smart and buy more than one of these because I know 
know what'll happen is they'll sell out and they'll come back, they'll be more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Take advantage of it. Carrie Maletto, thank you, my dear. Uh, I want to remind everybody coming up in the next hour is our best value of the day. Uh, that is a great way to store absolutely anything that you need to store. Uh, and times two, because we're going to give you two of them. What a great way. It comes to us from origami. Origami, the art of folding, obviously. And these things will fold up and you can put them anywhere. But when they pop open like this, you can stack them. You can put shoes in there. You can put gloves. You can put boots. You can put toys. Uh, uh, you can flip them on their back and put them in the trunk of your car. They're the best way to bring groceries around the big plastic bags. You won't see your watermelon flying across and you go in there and the dang thing's broken open and you got seeds all over your trunk. <laughs> so anyway, it's a good way to be able to get organized. Uh, here's a guy that organizes you every single day of the week. My friend John is back. And this is the PLA. This thing yes. is an amazing chopper. It all is. right? It is It is consistent. It's cool. It's top of the line. Look at the price. They I, dropped the price cool. from 59 to 34 Wow. What a good deal. You know, I got to tell you, <laughs> it's a great chopper. I, I have fun with the paring knife. Yeah. Uh, you get this paring knife with it. Right. It's one of the best quality paring knives I've ever used. Dude, that's like okay? my German one. Which quality, I mean, when it comes to PL8, that's what, what, what it's that all about. Knife, I'm online, that's a full $40 knife. I know. <laughs> and it's a triple riveted handle. Easily, perfectly balanced. I was just finishing up this little melon basket, and I'll show you real quick how I did that. I tipped it up on that sand. I sliced off a piece on the bottom like this, so it lays flat. Got a little and then flat. I took the tip of the knife and I just made a circle all the way around like this, just scored. Yeah. And then I scored out a handle, and then I just made little uh, angle cuts all the way around. When you pop this apart, now you can <laughs> carve the seeds out from the inside. <laughs> Stuff <laughs> that with cottage <laughs> cheese <laughs> or tuna <laughs> fish <laughs> or chicken salad. Yeah, how good Having is that, a good dude? paring knife yeah. is, I mean, it's. Uh, that that is a it's freebie. Epic. That it's is epic. a freebie epic. because that is a thirty or forty dollar <laughs> we knife. We're having some fun earlier with now, the paring knife too. Look at this. Let me get uh, yeah, you are. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, 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 you are a fisherman. All right. So all let right. me tell you this though. Not all of us are great with knives. Yes. And we mentioned this earlier when we were talking about our other chopper. Right. This thing is good every single I, time. I'll tell Perfect. you what, all you do is place whatever it is that you want to chop or dice on top of the blades and press down on the lid, it does the work for you. It's got a catch-all bowl underneath that catches all the food that you chop up. We just diced up a whole bunch of onions here for like a, a chicken salad or tuna fish. Uh, here, larger chunks like this, I'll t tip this out so you guys can see, you get consistency wow. each and every time with this because of the design of the machine and watch how easy this wow. is and by the way all you do is lift the lid up it comes apart okay so you it's easy to clean dishwasher safe right but with this top like this on the inside here you have a, a, a great okay of razor sharp knives you also have a smaller one for super fine mincing so if you want to do a, a, a bunch of garlic okay if you want to mince garlic all you do is place that on that blade press down on the handle and you get your minced garlic and I mean when I say minced I'm talking Perfectly yeah. minced garlic. Okay? A little tray, by the yeah. way, that's underneath there too, <laughs> yeah. for storage. Yeah. yeah, the tray is for it, it, it keeps every all your blades stored for easy storage. By the way, it comes with the two inserts. Okay, you get the large one and you get a super fine for fine mincing. Yeah, yeah. So if you liked that onion diced, okay, you're gonna love it minced. So all you do is place this inside, and and by the way, everything goes into the bowl underneath. Watch this, all I do is press, and you get a perfectly minced onion. Now, when I, when I say perfectly minced, Whoa. I want you to see this guy. It doesn't get any finer than that. I mean, okay. look at that. For tuna fish or chicken salad, oh. for homemade meatloaf, I, yeah. on taco night, When I eat onions it. raw, that's right. the size you want. Yes. You, don't want to get a, you don't want to get a big banging piece <laughs> right. of onion <laughs> right. or well, a piece of garlic. Do, but, yeah. but, but right, you have the ability to do but, that. But I mean, let's do that again, because you yeah. can fill up this whole tray. Do all your prep work. Well, I like to call this my personal sous chef, okay? Yeah. Because really, it does all the work for you. All you do is place your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese on top, press Boom. down on the lid, and the job's done. Everything goes into its catch-all bowl, okay, which slides out. Now, I want to show you this, too, because everything we were doing here, okay, all the dicing and chopping goes into the bowl. Now, you can also do larger things, all right? And by the way... If this bowl's not big enough, I mean, it is for most things, but maybe you want to do, mm, let's see, let's try some french fries, okay? All you do is, I'm going to take this blade out, I'm going to go back to that larger dicing blade, okay. all right? And watch what happens now with potatoes, because I can place a potato on top of this machine, press down on the lid, and look at this, you can make french fries right into a bowl, right into a bucket, right into a frying pan, if you like, because it fits over just about any size bowl up to like nine inches, sure. okay? Right. And look at this, all you do 
is place a potato on top and press. We're gonna make a whole bowl full of french fries here, well, and it's done in seconds. All you do is press down on the lid. And you, and you did it yourself. And <laughs> look, look at this. that. Look at the and shape and size see of those yeah, fries. Yeah, they're perfect. Those are the best so, cuts. Now, and if it, maybe it's not french fries you want, what you want. Maybe you're doing something like uh, a carrot sticks or zucchini spears for a vegetable tray. All you do is place it on top. You pr place the carrot on top and press. You get instant carrot sticks. Maybe it's cucumber icicles you want to make for a salad or zucchini for a vegetable tray with a sour cream or an avocado dip. All you do is place it on top. You press down on the lid. The yeah. machine does the work for you. Look at this. Look at those Perfect. zucchini sticks, okay? And I want you to see this. The, each one comes out perfect and uniform, just like the French fries that we did earlier, okay? Wow. Every one is exactly the same. Just like those cucumber icicles. Here, we'll pull out a few of those. And just like the carrot sticks, they're all the same size. They're all the same consistency. So you, there's no way that you could do that by hand with a knife. No but way. with this machine, it does it quick, safe, fast, and easy. That's the whole idea is that you get consistency here, yes. and that's the key. And no chef out there, even with the most incredible knife skills, can do what John <laughs> right. is doing. That's right. Because it's virtually impossible to make it perfect every time. Yep. We're going to give you that. We're going to give you the uh, the uh, the uh, pairing knife, which yes. is, as I said, it's a $30 or $40 pairing knife at least. We give you all the additional attachments to make different sizes. One of my favorite things John does in here, too, is uh, he'll do that in a little bit, is when he makes his egg salad. Oh, yeah. Because there is, it's so hard, and it's really labor intensive to chop an egg with, a, with the back of a fork. Yeah, right. Have it's you ever hard done to do. Well, look at this. I'm doing radishes. I'm julienning radishes those, for those a salad. You can't cut with a knife. There's no way small. you could do that by hand with a knife. Wow. But look at this. You get perfect matchstick radishes. For, perfect for wow. garnishing a salad or for or for stir fries. Now, here's the other thing about this too. Because it comes with its own bowl. Okay. I got to I got to show you this. I'm going to take this out. You mentioned the eggs, guy. Watch this. Now, for egg salad, oh, this I'm going to place an egg on top. I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see at home how this separates Come the food. On. The, the top of the machine it again, separates John. it, okay? <laughs> so all you do is press down on the lid and everything goes right into the bowl. So if you want chopped eggs for your egg salad or maybe you're making a southern style potato salad with yeah. egg like this, instead of using a fork to mash up your eggs, now you're getting perfectly diced Look eggs for egg salad. And if you like them finer, use the finer. Yeah. Blade. You can, I mean, salad. if you want them right. really fine, you can do that too. And again, yeah, look all at, I'm doing is pressing down on the awesome, lid. Jeff. The blades do the work. Razor sharp German stainless steel blades, they do the work for you, okay? And like you said, guy, if you want big, uh, smaller pieces, you use yeah. the smaller blades. And but you can do your this. pickles or anything uh, else yeah, right yeah. inside there. You, know, you can mix this up right in the bowl with a little mayonnaise, yeah. your pickles, whatever else you want to add to it. But look at that chopped eggs. <laughs> for hard boiled eggs for breakfast, even. Oh my gosh. I mean, it it does John, way more John work than those electric expensive machines. You did this in about three or four <laughs> I know. So think about it, trying to do that. Here's the, the hardest going thing crazy would here. be the radishes. <laughs> right. I mean, if you look at those radishes, well, or if you need to chop olives. Yep. Do you ever try to chop olives with a knife? It's How about impossible. This? How about take some leeks and oh, place them on top? All you do is press. You want to do leeks. You want to mince leeks for salads, <laughs> soups, or stews. Look at this. I'm uh, look. This is the, anything that grows in layers, like leeks. Onions, cabbage, celery, anything that grows in layers, John, look hand, at that, hand me a leak. will automatically mince. And I want <laughs> hand me a leak over there. And I'll show There's you. And I have here. pretty decent look, knife look skills. At this. But this is kind of how you would have to do this. Right. You would have to do this. Yep. And remember, I'm good at this. And then you would have to turn them on the cross. What are you doing over there? <laughs> but look. And now how? And how isn't that an awesome right, knife, now, though? Now, do one more. <laughs> yeah. Do one more your way. I think you, you took my last one. No, there's one right in the corner. Is there? Look, is there? Oh, there's no, one right there. All right. all right, so I'm still going. All right, so there's there's mine. There, I just did mine. Now, look at Where's John's? <laughs> I just did mine. And, and look, I want you to see this because, look, it comes out. Perfect yeah, yours are guy. better. Look Every at mine and look at yours. Every piece is exactly the same. And that's why you're going to love this machine. It's the consistency. Oh, that's mine. And I, <laughs> you get mounds in minutes with this machine. Wow, John. Yeah. All right. We are crazy busy. We only have about five or six minutes left in the hour. This is clearance priced at only $34.95. The original price was $59.95. We dropped it by, what, $25. Uh, and, and it's on price paper, $11.65. If you're, you know, this is the time to buy this, too, because as we start to get into Right. 
party season, Labor Day, yes. and all the way through. Yep. Uh, you know, well, heck, it just goes all the way through uh, through the beginning of the year, and then and and it keeps going. But holidays, prepping yes. for like Thanksgiving, or 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 maybe your your holiday dinners. Think about all that the the you know the big football games uh -huh. and you're doing uh -huh. you're doing when celery you're making those vegetable and, trays yes, with yes. carrot sticks and celery sticks and zucchini. You know, with like a sour cream or an avocado dip. Any of your dips. And look at this. Everything goes into the bowl. Now, I got to mention too, if you like to do lots at one time. I mean, this bowl will hold about two cups, okay? But again, I like to point out that you can put this over any size bowl. And I know we did this earlier, but I'm gonna dump this out and start again just to show you yeah. that it fits over over a bowl up to nine inches like this, stainless steel bowl or whatever it is. And now you can do just, you can do mountains and mountains of vegetables and fruits. Hey, John, and, show them your trick too. You put it in a little bit of an angle, right? Because yeah, it's well, not. see how it kind of closes like an alligator, right. okay? So you wanna tip it in on an angle just like this bit. and that way you get long strings like this okay here's some zucchini the same way and the reason I put it in on an angle is because of the way the lid closes sure. so if you're gonna make shoestring french fries for your little monster youngsters all you do is put the potato in there and press but watch this because on a long potato let's see if I can find a long potato here potatoes are short one way and long the other usually so yeah. if I don't right. put it in on an angle to make go through okay it's gonna kind of roll out sometimes with those longer potatoes mm -hmm. So I like to put it in on an angle and then press. But look at the <laughs> look at look at these look fries. at these shoestring fries. All right. Wow. Perfect, uniform. I mean, and think of the money you're going to save instead of going out to, yeah. uh, uh, you know, yeah, those the fast golden food, arches yeah, places right? and all that stuff. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and, and by the way, these are like the fast food yeah. style fry, which oh, yeah. I love these, right? That's the perfect size and, and, for shoestring fries. And you know, fries. You, if you want, you can, uh, you know, you rinse them off and you just, you can season them and you can put them in the oven right. and you don't even have to put them in the deep fryer if you're trying to eat healthy. And I always say one of the biggest problems with eating healthy yes. is A, it's expensive, and B, it's hard to do well, now, and because when you need they ask you they tell you, you eat a lot of veggies right but prepping veggies is a pain in the neck for most yep. people and it's too expensive to buy them like that when you have this machine it's a piece of cake to yeah do this. I'll tell you what if you've hey listen how many times have you gone to the supermarket and bought bell peppers like this minced up for you it comes in a little plastic tub you, you look at the price on that per pound okay and then go right across the aisle and check out the price like this per pound you're saving like a dollar or something Sometimes two or three dollars a pound by being able to do this at home yourself. You see, look at—I mean, look at that. I want you to look at this close up if we can get it. Yeah, the I onions could, that's, that's and bell brutal. peppers minced perfectly for salads, for your homemade omelets in the morning. You can scatter those in with your hash browns. Mm. It comes out beautiful. Well, I mean, and, I, <laughs> and you know, there's I, no way you can do that by hand I with a knife. I put red pepper in my crab cakes, and it's and you have to dice it really fine because again, yep. nobody wants a big chunk of pepper. Right. You want that kind of homogenous flavor, mm -hmm. and you can only get that when you have a chopper like that. Look at these leeks. Right. That to me is I the know. most impressive thing look at them it's confetti i mean you've done you have basically made leek confetti uh and so if you're making soups or you're doing onion soups yep. or you're doing uh you know leeks are so they're such a lovely soft onion flavor they're great like this in salads right you don't want to chop on a big leek no exactly so that's john you know you're able to do that if you want to do ham salad turkey chicken yep. you could do that in there how about cheese make cheese yeah. blocks like this or ham sticks again everything goes into the bowl and now i want you to see this too because i'm going to take the lid off and i'm going to show you this real close yeah, up clean okay it? this here's where PLA got like they've got it nailed all right to clean this there's a little thing right here all you do is pull this off anything stuck in there now comes out dishwasher safe and you place back it on. back on top just like this hook it up to the machine and all you do is press down and it locks itself back into position I mean it's, it's, it's so just ideal. so simple to use easy to clean and look at this Look at all those cheese blocks that we just yeah. made, all right? For, for a, a party tray with a toothpick, yep. you put do ham the same way, and now you've got your uh, cheese plat platter ready to go. Remember, right. we're giving you that beautiful paring knife to go yes. along with it, so it's such a great deal. Uh, and, and all the extra blades are included, so whether you want to do the fine dice or the larger dice, whether you want to do the shoesting fries or the right. regular sort of, you know, uh, or the large fries, fries, right? you can do all that, and it, and Here, it let's makes do some it more large so fries. easy. It really I love does. Fries. Well, it's so fast, too. If you yeah. had to do this, this job, like, that's why restaurant, do you ever, do you think restaurant people cut fries by hand? Yes.
<laughs> hand cut really? fries. Hand cut fries. Uh, look, I mean, you're very rare. They have a machine. Yeah. They, they have, and that machine that they use. They say hand cut. Yeah. yeah. They use a machine with a big crank <laughs> like that and it pushes the potato takes through. It's a team of mules, of course. It's about a four or five hundred dollar, like big giant stainless <laughs> machine. But look at this. It's this does the seconds. same thing. And you get those hand cut fries just yeah. like in the restaurants. Absolutely. If you use it for nothing but chopping onions and making French fries, I think it's worth the price of admission for that alone. But again, you get that paring knife, and I got to show you this paring knife again because this little paring knife is one of the best paring knives I've ever seen. Like you said, guy, you would pay in in a, a, a chef yeah. store, you would pay upwards of forty dollars for At this least. paring knife. Yeah, and it, I mean, it would, the, it would the, the, it's razor knife. sharp. We, yep. did, we did this earlier. We did a little. Uh, I, little this is my little gator. Is that your gator? Your salad. Nice. My salad gator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it, it is. It's a great knife. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's also what we call the Italian grandmother knife. Italian grandmothers will use that knife, right. for, and they cut towards them. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which we never recommend, but that's how they, they have a skill to be able to do that. But this knife uh, is but it's razor, like ideal. It's razor very sharp. sharp. Yeah. yeah, and you'll love it for all your peeling, paring, slicing, dicing. And again, like I said, razor sharp. If you use it for nothing, listen, you would spend more for this paring knife than you're paying for the entire machine today. I mean, in, if you bought that in a store. This paring knife is amazing. I think you're gonna love it. But again, like I said, with the with the dicer, if the only thing you use it for, and by the way, I didn't even get to show you this guy. Look at this, it's the yeah, only machine tomatoes. I've ever found that'll dice tomatoes for tacos. Right. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to watch you. When's the tomatoes, last time you diced you're, tomatoes? You're, yeah, right? you want to make sauce for things like that. It's perfect. Johnny, thanks. I got one more hour with you. Stick around. Be right back. Hi there, Andrew Lesman here with this month's monthly special, which is Memory and Brain. It's a product we introduced over 15 years ago and wasn't nearly as comprehensive as it is today. We've since added a number of ingredients, including all important acetyl L-carnitine. It's all about protecting our brain, which is really how we protect the quality of our life as we get older. So visit hsn.com to find out more. It's the most comprehensive, the best product I make for supporting our brains. It's HSN's biggest and best Labor Day sale ever. Enjoy nine days of special pricing on some of your favorite brands like Curtis Stone, Minnetonka, and Origami. And don't miss these exclusive offers. Free shipping on fashion and accessories when you spend $99 or more. Plus, get an additional 50% off hundreds of items on hsn.com. Get great deals all week long with special buys every day. HSN's Labor Day sale, now through Tuesday, only on HSN. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. <laughs> 